Hey, hey, it's Witch Angel Nakora, and welcome back to Rick and Morty's Rushed Licensed Adventure. Now, the first episode, we took on Chapter 1, and I thought we were going to do, like, Chapter 1 and 2 in the same episode, but it turns out it was a little bit too long. So, I'm just going to go ahead and split them up into all four chapters individually, <clears throat> and that way, we'll be over and done with in, like, four different goes. <laughs> and let's move on to chapter two, and let's see what kind of weird adventure is going to happen next. Hey, cool! Looks like Rick's doing some kind of experiment with his stupid microscope. Let's see what we're doing uh -huh. here. Huh, that stuff looks really tasty. You know what, I bet Rick's trying to invent some kind of new delicious treat. I doubt it. some of it. Oh, Rick! Somebody help! Oh, gee! I don't think Rick was making some kind of delicious new snack. He was making some weird drinking thing. Well, she's forced her first clue. I gotta take it easy. You know, if I just climb under the microscope thing, Rick will see me when he comes back. Uh, I don't, I don't think so. Honestly, Morty, you go to school and yet you're as dumb as a brick. Alright, let's see what we can do here. Uh, click on the microscope. Wait a minute. Let's make him look... Let's make him able to see under the microscope, so let's click on the knob. Hey, it worked! Boy, I thought, I thought this was going to be a whole long, long get chapter, chapter, but that's, that's it. it. Now, now Rick will come, come and he'll, he'll just make, make me big, big again. again. Mm-hmm. Sorry, let's just sit on the petri dish. I gotta figure out some way to get under it so Rick will see me. Uh, dude? I gotta figure out some way to get under it. You're really that much of an idiot. There you go. You're welcome. Oh, man. He put him in the fridge. Boy, it sure is chilly in here. It's a refrigerator, so I guess that would make sense for it to be cold. Yeah. Oh well, you're stuck in a fridge, so let's get you out of here, alright? All right, let's see what we can do here. Hmm, ancient Chinese secret. <laughs> what is it, that the food's too damn good? <laughs> a noodle. <laughs> we'll get used to this later. Let's go on the noodle. Okay, I'll get it and put it in my inventory, but you know, don't expect me to be going around eating it. Yeah, who knows how old that's probably been in there, you know? You really don't want to, like... So honestly, you really don't want to, like, eat food in the fridge that's, like, too old. Trust me, I've been in there. <laughs> Ugh. Food poisoning, ahoy. What's this thing? Sock. Symbol of great... Who the hell leaves a sock in the fridge? I know there's so I know there's some sort of thing that farmers do that they just don't they don't wash their jeans they put them in the they put them in the freezer to kill the bacteria. Now that's just crazy. Heck yeah, I'm gonna get this sauce. Are you kidding me? Nobody keeps sauce better than me. I'm a I'm a I'm like a I get eight classes in school about getting sauce. Uh huh. Seriously? Ooh, cocktail olive. I like these things. They're good. Nice and salty. Yeah, you know what? I think I will mess around with this olive. Well, yeah, I mean... Might need it sometime, Morty. Alright, now, let's see what this big block of ice is. Oh, shit. Here. Anyone? Idiot. 
<laughs> Triple Dog Dare. Oh, man. That's from a Christmas story. And it's January. <laughs> All right. Let's see here. <clears throat> it's Pickle. I love pickles. Something real awfully sad about just this one pickle sitting in a jar all by himself. Hey, wait, look! There's a label on the back of the jar! Mm-hmm. Wow, look! Look at that crazy memorable This is only a pickle jar! It's really easy for me to remember because it looks like a fish with three eyes, and, and it's got a really cool red tail with it's got piercings on it. I'm never gonna forget about this! Yeah, I think it might be just something that we're gonna be using later. Noodle with glob of sticky jelly. Let's see what happens. You know what? Okay. Uh, it worked. It worked. <laughs> All right, noodle rope. Let's go up here. I never thought I'd be climbing up a Chinese noodle. Huh. Uh, oh, hey, it's uh, just like climbing up a rope in gym class if people still do that. Let's go over here. Oh, it's stuck. I wonder if I can loop it up, you know, with something. I'm glad Rick wasn't here. Rick. You hear me say that because, boy, he'd really start ripping into me about how I masturbate all the time with lubrication. Do you do that, Morty? Oh wait, I've already, checked your, I've already checked out your Wikipedia page. Yes, you do. You're a chronic masturbator, Morty, and you need help. <laughs> Alright, let's check out these jars. Is this right? Hmm. I could do this all day. Yeah, but I don't have all day. Hey, you know... I kind of like spinning these jars. Hmm. This seems familiar. Hey, I know what this is. It's that symbol of the fish with the piercings and the, and the three eyes. Oh, that looks right. Yeah, I wonder if maybe there's something I could do with that other jar. Hmm. Spin the applesauce. I could do this all day. Oh. Hey, that says open! <laughs> Shit, Sherlock! Whoa, they're opening! What? They're opening! What kind of refrigerator is this? This, this, this wouldn't happen in a normal, regular refrigerator? Well, what are the developers thinking? I mean, how, who, whose refrigerator works like this? Uh, maybe a refrigerator if you're in a, I say, a, an earthquake. Because, <laughs> think about it, a, a, a refrigerator in an earthquake, no matter what, if, even if you bolt it down, and it's shaking about like, you know, like, uh, everything in there is still going to shake and bounce around, so think about it, that would be a micro, uh, no microwave, but not a microwave, a refrigerator in an earthquake. Get through your head, Morty. What is this? Delicious butter. And it's out of the package? Who the hell puts it out of the package and just, just, just sticks it in the refrigerator? Come on now. I'm one one hundredth my usual size. I know that, stupid. I'm one one hundredth my usual size. Can you not be a bitch? Don't mind if I do. I'll grab myself a big fistful of this. <laughs> butter. Might, might come in handy. You never know. <laughs> Sorry. Fistful of butter might come in handy. <laughs> There's so many masturbatory jokes in this. <laughs> I can't even right now. <laughs> Alright, let's go over here. <clears throat> Let's use the butter on the temperature gauge. Oh, you know what? That's really smart. You know, you really are figuring it out. 
Well, thank you, Morty. At least I'm not an idiot like you. Just saying. Now... Oh, I'm an idiot. We have to turn the knob. Okay, now we can go down. Come on. There we go. What the fuck is this? It says beaker full of... Ugh. Hold on, what's this? Sandwich last bite, toothpick. I think I have an idea. Let's use the olive with the pimento and use it on the toothpick. Well, if you think about it, technically that's what you can use a toothpick for just to get the little pimento part out of it. Talk to whatever's in this. What the hell are you? What's some kind of weird, bizarre Rick monster? No, 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 no. no. The, the, the developers didn't have time to draw a new character, so they just painted Rick's head onto a seahorse that they were working on for another game. game. Oh, oh, that makes sense. I mean, is there any way that you don't think you're talking to my regular son? Seahorse Rick. Yeah, I, I, I can give, give you a really, really good hint. hint. Citric acid. If you just if you mix some citric acid into the petri dish, it'll, it'll reverse the effect of the stuff in there, and then you can eat it, and you'll grow back to normal. Oh my God! Oh, oh, that's a really good hint. That's a really that makes it really simple. Okay, I'm gonna go do it. Let's go do it. Hey, Rick, you really good luck. Okay. Now I think if we remember correctly, there was something dripping. On the side of the refrigerator. I'm climbing up a Chinese noodle. Uh. Oh, uh. Excuse me. I really hate burping on camera. Alright, what is that? Looks like orange juice. Alright, so let's use the hollow olive. Slow drip of OJ. Well, you gotta use what you got, what you can find, you know. I mean, if you're in a little tight space like that, you gotta use what you find. All right, let's go back down the noodle rope. Now let's combine the olive with OJ to the petri dish. Okay, here we go. We're gonna, we're gonna spill the, the orange juice all over this, all over this uh, petri dish here. Oh, look at that. It's like. Oh. I, I don't know if you guys ever done like Reddit 50 50 or just been grossed out by medical um, videos. And when I was in nursing class, we had to watch like a bunch of uh, videos on how to treat uh, boils and cysts. This looks like the inside of like a really bad pimple that's been that has the ganglious um, tentacles inside that just latches on. And you have to get it surgically removed. Sorry for putting that image of brain in, but hey, Oof, it's just making my stomach turn. Let's get it. Bridge it to the choir, Morty. Alright, we need to combine it with Morty. Oh, geez, I guess we're gonna go ahead and really eat this thing, huh? Yep. Oh, man, I hope that weird Rick monster is, isn't, isn't just screwing around with us. Here we go. Oh! Oh! I, I feel tingling inside me! 
Uh huh. Oh fuck! Really? Oh man! Look at him! I can't breathe. No! Oh man! What's funny is I actually like the little seahorse Rick. Oh my god, Morty, you killed him. You killed, do you realize what you've done, Morty? Oh, what did I do? You beat the chapter two of the Rick and Morty adventure game. Good work, Morty. Uh-huh. No. I don't see any cake. Where's the cake? I want to see some cake. Huh? Cake. Yum. Cake. Really? I don't see anything. I basically see Rick and Morty with cake. Okay, back to tile screen. Alright, that was chapter two of this game. And okay, now I know what it's like to be in a fridge. Because, think about it. It's winter, it's fucking cold, but holy crap. There's so many, there's so many things that's going through my mind right now. Like, what would happen if someone could actually just, like, turn themselves into, like, a teeny tiny one third one wait what was it he said like a fourth of himself like itty bitty and just go like sit in the fridge whenever you're like really hot that would be really weird because you'd be smelling every kind of food that was in there but you'd also be sitting in like spilled juice or spilled soda or if someone left an open beer in there it would smell so bad <sighs> what is wrong with my brain? Anyway, we'll leave this off here. <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and get to playing 3 and 4, get them ready for upload. If you liked this video, hit that like button faster than you cast your spell to the face. And I'll see you all in the next chapter. Mwah! Stay magical, my friends. And don't eat anything blue and disgusting looking in a petri dish when no one's around. You never know what's going to happen.